from creatures that appear larger in size to those with venomous bites. Here are nine most effective animal systems. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 9. Pufferfish Toxins Most pufferfish species have an interesting defense mechanism on which they rely to evade predators. The pufferfish is highly maneuverable as it moves by combining its dorsal, anal, pectoral and caudal fins. It's also quite slow, which would make it an easy target for predators. One of its defensive behaviors involves filling its very elastic stomach with air or water, achieving an almost spherical shape that's considerably larger in size. As the fish attains its puffed form, its pointed spines also become visible. This way, instead of a slow-moving, easy meal, would-be predators face a large ball with spines all over it. Swallowing the puffer fish may result in choking or death by poisoning. That's because these creatures have tetrodotoxin in their liver as well as in their skin and intestines. Tetrodotoxin is a potent neurotoxin that can kill humans as well as some of the pufferfish predators. Number 8. Cheetah's Acceleration There's an argument that running is often the best defense. When it comes to land animals, no other creature is capable of the cheetah's acceleration or top speed. It typically uses its advanced running ability to take down fast-moving prey like antelope, gazelle, zebras, and even ostriches. However, cheetahs share their environment with other felines, which are bigger and stronger, such as lions and leopards. Fleeing is sometimes essential for survival. Unlike other big cats, cheetahs have a lighter and more streamlined body. It's perfectly adapted for rapid acceleration and explosive bursts of speed as well as for extreme changes in direction while moving at high velocity. A cheetah's acceleration is nothing short of mind-blowing, as it can go from 0 to 47 miles per hour in just under 2 seconds. It's without a doubt the fastest land animal, having been clocked at over 70 miles per hour. Its strides while galloping are also remarkable, as they can cover an average 22 feet. While it's a phenomenal sprinter, the cheetah, like many other animals, tends to fall short when it comes to long-distance running. Interestingly enough, humans are among the best long-distance runners in the animal kingdom. This is due to the springy muscles and tendons in our legs, as well as our numerous sweat glands, which enable us to run and keep cool at the same time. Number 7. Skunks Spray Skunks are generally regarded as foul-smelling creatures and that's due to the defensive behavior they adopt when feeling threatened. Skunks have glands at their rear that produce a mixture of sulfurous chemicals which have an offensive odor. By contracting the muscles next to the glands, the skunk can spray with great accuracy for up to 10 feet. The spray is strong enough to ward off bears and other large predators. It can be detected by a human nose from up to three and a half miles downwind. It's a highly efficient defense mechanism, but one that the skunk is reluctant to use. The chemical that the glands produce only lasts the skunks for about five to six charges. It takes about 10 days to replenish the supply, a period during which a skunk is vulnerable prey. Before we move on, answer this question. Which of these animals is the skunk's only known regular predator? Is it A, the honey badger, B, the gray wolf, C. The Red Fox or D. The Great Horned Owl Let us know what you think in the comments section below and stay tuned to find out the right answer. Number 6. Electric Eel Shock Although it's commonly known as the electric eel, Electrophorus electricus is actually a knife fish. Almost its entire body consists of pairs of abdominal organs that can produce electricity. These specialized organs are made up of modified muscles or nerve cells, capable of generating strong bioelectric fields. The electric eel can use this ability to attack prey or to defend itself from predators. When it hunts, the electric eel will generate lower electric discharges, which stuns its prey, 
higher electric discharges are typically generated for defense. For about 2 milliseconds, the shock can carry up to 1 ampere of current and 860 volts. It's highly unlikely that it will kill a human being mostly because the duration is very short. However, it's still quite painful and people have compared it to being shot by a stun gun. Number 5. Armadillo Armor These armored mammals have developed a rather unique defensive behavior. While the underside of an armadillo's body is covered in fur and soft skin, the upper side is armored with plates of dermal bone. Most species have rigid shells over their hips and shoulders in bands separated by flexible skin. The tail, upper limbs and the top of its head are also covered by armor. Some species roll into a ball whenever they feel threatened. This enables them to only expose their armor while protecting their vulnerable parts. The giant armadillo which is the largest species, can't fully roll into a ball because of its size. It does, however, possess huge front claws, which are proportionately the largest in the animal kingdom, and it uses its claws to dig burrows and to rip into termite mounds. Number 4. Cyanide Millipede The cyanide millipede's dark-colored body contrasted by yellow at the tip of its keels serves as a warning to would-be predators. This is known as asposomatic coloration and there are a number of other animals like venomous frogs or snakes which display warning colors. They usually consist of bright hues or pronounced contrasts as a warning to other creatures that the animal in question is dangerous. This millipede, for example, is capable of secreting hydrogen cyanide when it feels threatened. This means that aside from a few beetle species, the deadly cyanide millipede has few predators. Number 3. Bombardier Beetle Blast Bombardier beetles have earned their common name from a defensive mechanism that consists of blasting their target with a hot, noxious spray. In its abdomen, the beetle has two reservoirs containing hydrogen peroxide and hydroquinone. The two chemicals react with each other in the beetle's vestibule, generating enough heat that the mixture almost reaches the boiling point of water. This produces gas and pressure which drive the ejection of the spray. The beetles will usually turn its body to direct the jet at its predator with remarkable accuracy. The main chemical component of the jet is commonly known as paraquinone, an irritant for the eyes and respiratory systems of vertebrates. This, coupled with the heat of the spray, can be lethal for insects that make the mistake of seeing the beetle as easy prey. The evolutionary specifics of the beetle's defense mechanism aren't fully understood by science. Creationists have often cited the Bombardier beetle as proof of intelligent design, while ancient astronaut theorists have argued that it's an example of alien engineering. So, what is the skunk's only regular predator? The right answer is D, the great horned owl, which is also known as the tiger of the sky. Aside from its foul smell, the skunk spray can cause irritation and temporary blindness. Because of that, most predators tend to avoid them, but not the great horned owl. Researchers believe this bird's sense of smell isn't as well developed and also that much of the spray is absorbed by its legs' feathers. These features enable it to regularly prey on skunks. Number 2. Wolverine Frog this Central African frog species owns defensive weaponry that's straight out of a comic book and rather unique in the animal kingdom. Trichobatrachus robustus is also known as the hairy frog because breeding male has hair-like structures on its thighs and flanks. These structures contain arteries and they're believed to aid the frog in absorbing more oxygen when it's out of the water. The species is also commonly referred to as the wolverine frog after the character from the X-Men. That's because it possesses retractable claw-like bones which emerge from its skin. These claws are sheathed in a bony nodule in the tissue beyond the frog's fingertips. Whenever the wolverine frog feels threatened, it breaks the nodule and forces its sharpened bones out of its skin. A retraction mechanism hasn't been determined but it's believed that the frog retracts its bones passively while regenerating the damaged tissue. Number 1. Asian Cobra Bite The Asian Cobra is found throughout most of the Indian subcontinent where it's among the most dangerous snakes. 
It's also known as the spectacled cobra because it often has hood markings in the form of two false eyes connected by a curved line. When cornered, the snake will defend itself by delivering a venomous bite. The attacks can be fatal for humans in cases where victims don't receive anti-venom and proper medical treatment in time. The mortality rate is varied and also depends on how much venom injected from its bite. The average yield is between 160 and 250 milligrams. The venom is highly potent as it contains cardiotoxin as well as a powerful postsynaptic neurotoxin. This means that it attacks the synaptic spaces of the nerves which leads to muscle paralysis and in severe cases, cardiac arrest or respiratory failure. The venom also contains enzymes which cause cell degradations, furthering its spread through the victim's body. Thanks for watching. Do you know other effective animal defense systems? Tell us about them in the comments section below.